So for today's adventure, we're going to need a Tupperware container with your uh, pre-casted uh, 3D printed part. We need tongs for moving around any fire bricks and possibly removing uh, dross. We're going to need a crucible. I've already filled it with uh, tin, sorry, uh, zinc uh, scraps. We're going to need uh, steel-toed shoes. We're going to need the crucible handling equipment, uh, the large tongs for lifting it out of the furnace, and the scoopy thing for pouring it. We're going to need a drill for creating the air holes for the uh, casting. We're going to need some safety equipment, um, a face shield, a face mask, some gloves, and an apron. We're going to need a blow dryer, duct tape to a long tube. Uh, I used a shower curtain rod, or sorry, a regular curtain rod. A second tube for mixing the metal. A yeah, furnace thingy, or uh, <laughs> something to light the carbon with. Um, a cupcake tin pan for any excess metal, and of course our furnace, and uh, carbon, which I don't have here. Alright, so I've got everything set up, I've got my safety gear on, I've got the crucible in the furnace, and it's surrounded by coal, I've got the fan air system ready, I've got the blowtorch, so I'm going to turn this on. All right, so while it's going, it's useful to have a laser thermometer with you to check the temperature. Also, you want to mix it every once in a while. Uh, just make sure that the bottom and the top are the same temperature. So I'm going to remove these locks, the top locks using my tongue. I'm going to turn it around using a steering rod. Looks like it's starting to melt a bit. The bottom part is already fairly melted. So here's a shot everyone wants to see. As you push it down, you can see that the zinc is slowly melting and homogenizing. And there's some, uh, some coal that fell in there. But the nice thing is that it's uh, way lighter than the rest of the zinc and so it's just floating on top. So the only thing left to do is to remove the dross. That's there's much in that coal that's sitting on top. And probably just scoop it out like that. I probably have gloves on. And um, yeah it'll be time to pour it. So I'm gonna grab the crucible tongue. Make sure I got a good grip on that. Keep it away from myself and others. Push down gently. And that. Now make sure I've got a good grip on it. And now keep it far from myself and pour it in. Put it down, and then we don't want it to cool off too quickly. That's bad for the crucible, even though it's some pretty nice graphite. So we just put it back in, and then we close it up. And I'm gonna use my tongue. And 
This is a close up of the molten zinc. And we can see that if we tap it, it's going to be liquid for a little while.